In this video, we're going to fill in the blank of basic division problems to find either the dividend, the divisor, or the quotient of a division problem. In the first one, we're looking for the quotient, or the answer. Now I know that 32 divided by 8 means that we started with 32 and we split the number 32 into 8 equal groups. So I'm going to go ahead and represent the groups over here and then split 32 evenly into these 8 groups. And when I do that, I could see that I'm going to get an answer of 4 as my quotient. 4 will be in each group. Next we have 40 divided by blank equals 8. This means that we started with 40, we split it into a certain number of groups. We're looking for the divisor. We don't know how many groups. We do know that there ended up with 8 in each group. So what I'm going to do is I know I started with 40, and if there are 8 in each group, I'm just going to count groups of 8 until I get to 40. 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So I have 40. They're each groups of 8. How many groups do I have? Well, when I group these, I could see that my missing number, the divisor, was 5. And the last one, we're missing our dividend. That means we know how many groups it's split into and we know how many are in each group. So we have six groups, and it is, we end up with four in each group. So when I represent this, you'll see it's actually like a multiplication problem. We have six groups of four, which means that we started with 24. That's how you find the missing number in a division problem.